Twas a year before Christmas, when all through the hall, the audience was gathered, packed wall to wall. Decorations were placed on the stage with great care, and magical snowfall soon filled the air. The musicians were nestled, all snug in their seats, ready to delight with holiday treats. The singing began, and voices were raised. The holiday spirit left us warm and amazed. While bidding farewell with peppermint canes, we heard repeatedly a common refrain. We loved it. Thank you. Please make it your mission to be back next year. Make this a tradition. But who would have known what the new year would bring? A pandemic and a limit on live gatherings. With health and safety at the top of our list, we planned a new concert with a virtual twist. Twas six weeks before Christmas and we were ready to go. A recording was scheduled for a holiday show. 20 musicians on the Washington Center stage, a virtual sing-along for our new COVID age. But what to our wondering eyes should appear, but new restrictions to which we should adhere. Shifting again, we asked our musicians to record at their homes under safer conditions. Holiday solos filled with much festive cheer, heartfelt performances in this one-of-a-kind year. With thanks to our sponsors for seeing us through, their support helps us bring this concert to you. Any donation tonight will open the door to a Zoom after party with surprises in store. So gather your household, let music delight. Happy holidays to all, and to all a good night. Already, is it time? I didn't realize it was time yet. That is embarrassing. I'm Jennifer, and I'm the executive director of the Olympia Symphony, and I'm so happy you're joining us tonight. I was practicing for the Jingle Jukebox after party, which will take place right after this concert. For any donation at the link below, five dollars, even a dollar, in support of this concert we'll get you an email that will have a Zoom link. Click that right after this concert is done and you can join me in the room and you can request songs for me to play on the piano for you to sing along with with your household. I am so happy you're here. You're in for a treat at tonight's concert. Olympia Symphony musicians have recorded holiday tunes just for you from their homes. Sometimes they're joined with members of their families Sometimes they've cloned themselves and they're performing in duets, trios, quartets, and quintets with themselves. We're welcoming special guests, student orchestras of Greater Olympia, otherwise known as SOGO, and the South Puget Sound Community College Choir, performing a couple of pieces they've all been working on while practicing remotely over Zoom. You'll also hear a special performance of a new composition called Variations on Pastures of Plenty. This work is the culminating result of a series of workshops put on in collaboration with Emerald City Music this fall. Students at Tumwater Hill Elementary and Peter G. Schmidt Elementary worked with composer Brad Balliot to create a new composition based on the tune Pastures of Plenty by Woody Guthrie. This was then recorded by Olympia Symphony musicians virtually, and you'll get to hear that performance and see it tonight. The finale of the concert will be all of the instruments of the Olympia Symphony performing together again virtually. We would like to thank our sponsors, Olympic Dermatology and Laser Clinic, Olympic Rentals and Landlord Services, Capital Heating and Cooling, and Thomas Architecture Studio. Thank you so much for supporting the arts during this difficult year when we can't perform live for you. So gather your household, grab a cup of good cheer, some treats, put on your pajamas, I'm wearing mine, and let's have some fun together. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, my name is Cameron May, OSO Assistant Principal Second Violin and Music Director of the Student Orchestras of Greater Olympia. For 19 years, the Sogo Conservatory Orchestra presented selections from Handel's Messiah in a free audience sing-along event at the Washington Center. Many of you, I know, are loyal attendees of that beautiful event. While we can't gather at the Washington Center this year, we wanted to give you the opportunity to sing along for yourself at home. If you have a Messiah score, go ahead and grab it and turn to page 66, For Unto Us a Child is Born. A virtual performance contains no lyrics or choristers. It's all on you. If singing along isn't your jam, I would invite you to watch in quiet contemplation and allow the beauty of the music to wash over you. All of us at SOGO want to express a particular gratitude to Jennifer and the Olympia Symphony for including SOGO on today's program. Thank you. And now please enjoy the SOGO Conservatory Orchestra's virtual performance of For Unto Us a Child is Born from Handel's Messiah.
Hi there. <coughs> ah, excuse me. I had a person in my throat. Although there is no Sogo Ho Ho this year, we asked Mark Thome, our court composer, to write a tune for this portion of the program. We now present to you Away in a Manger, arranged by court composer Mark Thome. Olympic Rentals. We're glad you're here today. I'm Todd. I'm the founder of the company. We're having a good time working hard. Come on in. We'll meet everybody. We're, We're Olympic, Olympic Rentals. Rentals. Opening doors for you. Hi, I'm John Guarante, professor of choral ensembles and music theory at South Puget Sound Community College. Like thousands of choirs across the world right now, the SPSCC Percival Choir rehearsed virtually this fall. After some initial consternation over the experience of recording their own voices, each member of the choir recorded their own part individually, and we put it all together for the performance you're about to hear. This is Song for Snow by Florence Price and Aveste Fideles by John Purifoy. We hope you enjoy. Have a happy holidays. Oh, oh, oh. 
sleighs go by along the roads. The sleighs go by. Thank you. 
My name is Brad Balliott, and I am a composer and teaching artist, and I'm happy to introduce the next piece, which is a set of variations on the song Pastures of Plenty by the students of the Tumwater School District. It was a long process. First, we learned the song Pastures of Plenty and sang it plenty of times. We learned about the history of the song and the migrant workers of the Pacific Northwest. We learned about Woody Guthrie and the many other artists that have recorded this song. And then we started figuring out how we were going to make our own variations on this theme for the Olympia Symphony Orchestra. We met many members of the Olympia Symphony who came and showed us how their instruments work. We broke into teams, team woodwind, team brass, team string, and team percussion. And then we started making the crucial decisions in those teams about how the music should go. So the students helped figure out how fast the music should be, what sort of articulation the players should use, what sort of range, how high or low they would be playing, and what dynamics the players should use, how loud or how soft. They also figured out which instruments were going to take the lead and play that melody and what the other instruments should do as an accompaniment. 
And all of those decisions were always in service of the mood that we wanted the music to create. So in my role as the composer that was taking all of these decisions, putting them together, I always returned to this question of mood. And I could always look at this great mood meter chart that the students put together with all of these amazing words describing all of these different moods. I want to give a big thank you to my fellow teaching artist Claire Bryan, to our partner teachers Marie Williams and Heather Stoker, Jennifer Herman and Andrew Goldstein, and of course to the musicians of the Olympia Symphony who really brought the students' ideas to life.
Thank you.